All good things come in threes, in this case the rivers Mosul, Zar and Ruva. Here 151 miles of vineyards are reserved especially for the king of white wines, Riesling. Mosul, Zar and Ruva are known for their steep sites. Half of the grapes grow on slopes of slate rocks with an angle of incline exceeding 30%. The Bremer Kalmont, the steepest vineyard in the world with an inclination of 68%. He who works here should not fear heights. No wonder that such rack railways are not unusual here when there's work to do in the vineyards. They help growers manage to do their work in the steep sites without all too much effort. Even the Romans appreciated the Mosul's natural advantages. They cultivated the first vines in Germany a good 2,000 years ago. Of course, their technological possibilities were very limited. The grapes were trod by foot or pressed by hand. We really don't know how these wines might have tasted. But in any case, we do know that the Romans laid the foundation for the hospitality of this region. And it's highly rated to this day. Whether it's a small tasting or a large wine festival, whether locals or visitors, everyone here is invited to join in the celebration and, of course, have a drink. By the way, most of the time it's a Riesling in the glass, for the Mosul boasts the world's largest contiguous surface planted with Riesling, about 6,000 hectares. Along the Mosul, much, but not all, revolves around wine, from hiking to all kinds of sport activities and unusual sights. There's a lot to offer. Those who don't yet know the Mosul should really have a look.